estamos aquí con Dylan Falco, el entrenador del equipo de Fanatic después de su aplastante victoria contra el equipo de DG. First of all, how are you feeling since you've confirmed semifinals? Are you happy with the result? Oh yeah, it feels amazing to actually make world semifinals. Um, this is the goal for a lot of Western teams, but for us the goal is even more. So it's nice that we get to uh, show what we already know and play well in the quarters and move on. I wanted to ask, ask you about the Kaisa priority because it's been a bit of a conflictive ADC and yeah. you guys have seemed to stream away from it and with very good results. Um, we're really confident in our matchups against Kaisa and playing against Kaisa. We've been in the first game out of respect because it's iBoy's best performing champion, but we are willing to play against it and we are also willing to play it ourselves. What's going on with the weapon Soas duality? Because it feels that since the game against TTG, Soas is a mess. Um, we just felt that for this specific matchup, um, Weepo would be better. I don't think that does not mean that we'll not see Soas later in the tournament. Um, Weepo, uh, obviously we played Mage, Mage's top for, what, three of the four games, which is kind of a specialty of Weepo. Um, Soas can play the champions as well, and he, he will if it calls for it, but if we know the draft is going this way, we wanted to play with people. Well, it's expected that you guys would go far in the tournament, but even then, like Chinese teams and Koreans, they are just yeah. <laughs> falling apart everywhere. What do you think is going on with these teams? I think that the Korean teams um, were playing too passively. Um, I think that they had not been practicing all year with a lot of the aggressive strategies that exist from the jungle and from other things in League of Legends. I also think that the Korean rosters are not as solid as the actual skill level of Korea as a region is. I think there's a bunch of incredible players in Korea still, and if they build the right rosters, they will probably be the region to be feared again. Um, as for the Chinese teams, I think they're really good. Uh, I think IG is really good. I think RNG is really good. I think they're making a ton of drafting errors and strategy errors. I think a lot of their mistakes are in strategy. Fair enough. Yeah. I also wanted to ask you about the if you guys were to reach finals in an hypothetical scenario, yeah. would you rather face G2 who already kind of know you or IG whom you dominated on the road? We are, I think, 7-1 or something against e uh, G2 this year. And I would love it for it to be an EU, EU, EU finals as well. So yeah. I want to I play G2. Yeah, that's yeah. Fair. yeah. And what about the C9 matchup? How do you think both teams will match against each other? I think our Danish mid jungle is better than their Danish mid jungle, so we will win. Oh, so that, I think. that's a, yeah. a very, very strong statement. Okay, so do you have any last words for the fans of Fnatic that have been supporting you very, very hard? Um, I believe that this year we are capable of a lot. Um, we're capable of actually, actually a Western team in general is capable of winning the World Championship for the first time in a while, so we just appreciate all the support. Um, we're getting hyped up a lot, so hopefully we can actually follow through. Okay, thank you yeah. very much for your interview. Podéis seguir las entrevistas en esportmaniacos.com y también en el canal de YouTube de Esportmaniacos.